This is all good automation. I'm working in the shop today with the uh, Tesla coil spark gap just to see what kind of uh, voltage intensities I can produce. Uh, this is a caliper I've got here that uh, shows the uh, the gap of the uh, spark gap on the Tesla coil. It's a, approximately 820 thousandths uh, uh, separation there. I'm going to start up the Tesla coil and uh, show you that uh, it is gapped to the maximum uh, spacing where the, the arc will barely occur. I'm just pulsing the input on and off. You can hear the Tesla coils running right now, but it's not sparking across because the gap is too wide. If I pulse it, I can peak the voltage now and then to get it to arc. To get a continuous arc, I'll have to put the gap closer together. Okay, um, uh, I've uh, reduced the uh, gap now to uh, 534 thousandths of an inch. Um, uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is run it now and uh, apply some air across the spark gap to, to show you what the result is. I'm going to start it up. <coughs> Okay, you can see that the, the spark was intensified by uh, the presence of the air passing near the gap. Uh, I think what that's doing is, is uh, uh, actually allowing the uh, capacitor to charge to even a higher level because the, the, I'm tearing away the ions that are being produced near the gap. Okay, what I've done here is I've rearranged uh, a few things. I've added a uh, plate in some pure water in a container and put the uh, plates in the water in series with the spark gap of the Tesla coil. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've made some modifi further modifications here. One of the things I've done is I've added a uh, remote RF switch to be able to turn the uh, Tesla coil on and off uh, easier so I can do the video. Uh, the other thing I've done here is uh, I've modified the, the uh, cell plates in that I have added a little spacer tube on this end and then another tube on this end. The uh, tube because all it does is uh, go over here to uh, this the end of the tube here where I'll uh, hook that up to the air compressor and pre push air through the tube to displace the water uh, out from between the plates. That should allow the arc to initiate arcing and uh, uh, once I get the uh, arc initiated I, it should uh, continue on its own if I have sufficient voltage to uh, disassociate the water, burn it, and then uh, it will collapse again. M what I think is going to happen here is, is uh, I'm not going to produce much hydrogen. What it's going to do is just going to be disassociating the water, the water into hydrogen and oxygen and then igniting it and burning it. So it will expand and collapse, expand and collapse, and, and we won't get much uh, production here. But um, uh, that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, we'll continue here. Let's see. I'm going to put this on the camera on the stand. And we'll get started.
Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is show you the, the gap measurement of the, uh, the spark gap. Looks like it runs best at around 630 thousandths of an inch on that spark gap. Huh? The other thing I need to do is measure the uh, spark gap between the plates here. Looks like we got about uh, 83 thousandths between the plates. Uh, uh, it's not ex unexpected what we saw here. I'm a little disappointed that we don't have more uh, hydrogen production, but uh, this is uh, approximately what I expected.